we, we had come to uh, just confer with the members of the National House uh, on the topical issue around uh, the proposal for exp expropriation of land without compensation. It was important for us uh, to also clarify <coughs> what uh, uh, has uh, come out in the public discourse that the issue of uh, expropriation without compensation basically refers to uh, what was uh, historically known as the 87% of the land and it does not involve the land which is um, within the uh, area of traditional leaders on the understanding that that is the land where the majority of our people are, are occupying and that uh, the focus <coughs> was on the issue of land reform as it will relate to the rest of the land that uh, the process for expropriation has been initiated in Parliament. All South Africans are expected to participate, uh, including traditional leaders and all uh, South Africans, because the issue of uh, land reform and uh, the return of land is a very, very important issue. Uh, the traditional leaders have raised the question of the security of tenure in the area under traditional leadership. Uh, they have raised a proposal that um, a government should be uh, issuing title deeds uh, to the traditional leadership. And of course that matter <clears throat> has not been finalized because there's a whole lot of other issues that are involved uh, in the matter of uh, ensuring security of tenure on behalf of those who are residents in this particular area, ensuring that the people are able to utilize the land as they have customary rights to the land, but <coughs> that, uh, in that process uh, any form of exploitation or uh, abuse of uh, the tenure rights should be uh, avoided so people need to be also uh, protected. So a number of issues need to be discussed here uh, in terms of whether title deeds will be the best or leasehold or PTOs what is the form <coughs> of land tenure that needs to be reflected or, uh, or represented here. We might be looking at a system uh, that will also ensure that uh, uh, investments are possible, that the banks accept the, uh, you know, the nature of the land tenure that uh, would be ultimately agreed upon. We have then uh, agreed uh, amongst ourselves that we will uh, work with the traditional leadership institutions to uh, refine uh, the research that is needed so that the correct uh, you know, um, form of land tenure uh, is achieved for all the people under the areas, in those areas of traditional leadership. And that uh, there is a degree of uh, um, uh, frustration from the, uh, uh, the traditional leaders because this matter <clears throat> has been raised over a while and that they needed an assurance that that process will go on and will not be uh, delayed by the fact that uh, there is this other process of expropriation of land uh, uh, without compensation which is still going to go through the parliamentary process. We have uh, uh, agreed that uh, we will table these issues uh, to cabinet in particular, uh, but that uh, we do not foresee that the two processes must actually uh, be uh, delayed by the fact that there is a parliamentary process on the, one, on the other side, uh, whereas this other process is something that needs to be uh, worked on uh, with the uh, departments and the, and the government uh, to refine it. We have therefore agreed that there will be a, 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 there is a need for a land summit to be convened so that a number of proposals that have come from traditional leaders can be tabled and we have agreed that uh, there will be a team that's going to work between the National House of Traditional Leaders and the various departments to take this matter forward. We have also reported to the uh, members of the National House that uh, the president's, uh, president, because of the agents of this matter, has uh, set up an interministerial team uh, which is led by the deputy president and there's about 10 departments uh, which are part of it. And, and these departments will look at all the issues around land, uh, land reform issues, issues of uh, security of tenure, and the issues of uh, uh, agrarian reform, and uh, a whole manner of issues that will uh, be uh, about the uh, implementation of land uh, expropriation without compensation. All of these processes uh, are new processes that are going to be uh, unfolding in the next few 
in the next few months, uh, as it were. Uh, this task team, therefore, will go and report uh, to that particular interministerial committee, as well as report to cabinet.